8.8, solving radical equations and inequalities. Okay, so let's start by solving radical equations. So if I have two times the square root of x plus one equals four, 14, sorry. The first thing we wanna do is divide by two. So then the square root of x plus one equals seven. Now we wanna square both sides to get rid of the radical. So x plus one equals 14. Now we wanna isolate our x. So x equals, oh, sorry, seven squared is 49. Okay, so then x equals 48. So that would be our answer. And we wanna go back and check. So we said that x was equal to 48. So then two times the square root of 48 plus one equals 14. Two times the square root of 49 equals 14. The square root of 49 is seven. So two times seven equals 14. So that's true. Okay, so what if we have the square root of x plus 18 equals x minus two? So we wanna get rid of the radical, so I'm gonna square both sides. So then x plus 18 equals x minus two times x minus two, which is gonna give us x squared minus four x plus four. So if I move my x's to this side, and if I move my 18, then we get that x squared minus 5x minus 14 equals zero. And we can factor this. So it's gonna be x minus seven times x plus two. Is that each one equal to zero? So x equals seven and x equals negative two. Now we wanna check So when x equals seven, so we have seven plus 18 equals seven minus two. This is the square root of 25 equals five. Square root of 25 is five. So it works. What about when x equals negative two? The square root of negative two plus 18 equals negative two minus two. It's gonna give us the square root of 16 equals negative four. The square root of 16 is positive four. So four does not equal negative four. So then that's not an answer. So our only answer would be x equals seven. So, okay, now we're gonna solve equations with rational exponents. So if we have three x minus one to the one over five equals two, we can rewrite this as the cube root, I'm um, sorry, the fifth root of three x minus one equals to two. To get rid of the fifth root, I'm gonna raise both sides to the fifth power. So then three x minus one equals 32. So three x equals 33, so x equals 11. If we check, three times 11 minus one to the one fifth equals two. So then we have 33 minus one to the one fifth equals two. So then that's 32. The fifth root of 32 is two. So that's right. Okay, now for solving radical inequalities. So if we have the square root of two x plus four is less than or equal to four, the first step we wanna do is solve for x. So I'm gonna square both sides. 
2x plus 4 is less than or equal to 16. Minus 4 minus 4. So 2x is less than or equal to 12. Divide by 2. Divide by 2. x is less than or equal to 6. Now we want to consider what's inside the radical. So 2x plus 4 is greater than or equal to 0. Since it's the square root and our radicand must be positive. So then 2x is greater than or equal to negative 4. Divide by 2, so x is greater than or equal to negative 2. So then our solutions will be the set of all x's such that x is greater than or equal to negative 2 and less than or equal to 6.